I've been swimming in raw sewage. It's absolutely absurd. There's the scientific backing behind why I believe in the spiritual um, in the other realms. Um, we can understand reality through the electromagnetic spectrum. I'm starting to realize that the electromagnetic spectrum is actually only one manifestation of that which is frequency, of that which is reality. So the electromagnetic spectrum, that's going to be the position that she has. And sound waves and gravitational waves, and there are infinite other categorizations of waves as they, um, as they manifest in different dimensional realities and different densities. I still haven't figured that whole thing out yet, but let's just stick to our electromagnetic spectrum as a representation of all reality, because I think that, that is a good place to start. So yes, it's a good representation, according to her. So it's not actually the real thing, is it? It's a representation. So the electromagnetic spectrum is a frequency range that is um, of, of waves that, be, that also contain photons, and they can travel through space and infinitely, and we get information from space because we see light or other electromagnetic radiation. We use electromagnetic radiation in our technology. All of our cell phones, all of our Wi-Fi, all of our Bluetooth, all of our X-rays, all of our microwave radiation um, technologies, walkie-talkies, radio, all of that is electromagnetic frequency. This girl is basically saying there's frequencies and waves and things and yeah, therefore we can assume that magic. That's basically what she's saying. Hey, I've got this thing that's symbolic of something I believe in, therefore science. And then it's like, well, this goes even further if we take it to the idea that there's lots of different uh, layers of reality and therefore there can be extra dimensions and that's the shit she believes in. So, science. Our electrical signals are sent through our bodies and we are living in an electromagnetic soup right now, um, especially with all the artificially generated electromagnetic um, technologies that are saturating our, our bodies, the, the satellites, all of 5G, 4G, 3G, 2G, are all electromagnetic realities and electromagnetic frequencies that interact with our physical body and our physical, our, our, our electromagnetic and our bioelectric realities. Basically, we have a lot of shit around us, and that's it. This doesn't link in at all to anything you believe. We have electromagnetic spectrum. We have a bioelectrical uh, signals going through the body. And there are all sorts of other things which are factually known to us, are confirmed. This says absolutely nothing about anything else. And I could go into details, I could go over her video, she rambles for a few minutes and suggests that it's down to frequencies and hey, there's different types of radiation, and hey, there's this and hey, there's that. And the eye, it's only attuned to this very small area of visible light, what's visible to us, basically. In fact, doesn't that make evolution not a thing? This is her argument. This is her position. This is what she does. Things that could potentially exist. It's really important to understand that the visible light spectrum is only the, the rainbow, is only an infantile, infinitesimally small section. Just the smallest little section, our eyeballs are these insanely adapted, you know, technologies that are really amazing. Like if you look at eyeballs, it's like one of the main arguments against um, evolution because it's like, how the fuck is an eyeball? What the fuck? And it proves nothing. I mean, it doesn't disprove evolution. It doesn't disprove the idea of um, anything really. It doesn't actually prove the other dimensions. It doesn't prove her claims. But she thinks that's enough. And that's the problem with a lot of people like this. They believe it's enough. They think they can just simply say, there are different frequencies and energies and radiations and things we might call vibrations and dimensions in another context. And so therefore, science basically proves what we believe. And it's like, well, no, it does not prove what you believe at all. And expand your mind to the fact that we really don't know. I do believe there is um, incredible legitimacy in traveling to these other realms. To travel to the other realms, open your imagination. The um, experiences that people have going to other dimensions, whether it be on drugs or whether it be through um, meditation, whether it be through psychosis, all of these things, I do believe that there's legitimacy, even through dreams. 
they have a spiritual truth, they have a spiritual place. To travel to the other realms, open your imagination. This is very important. Try traveling in dreams or in the space between waking and sleeping. If you feel that you have discovered a new realm that no one has talked about before, do not feel like you are wrong. Instead, embrace your role as an explorer and discover new lands. Known other realms that you can visit are Atlantis, Fairyland, the Dream World, the Astral Plane, Safe Schools, Meeting Places at the Galactic Center, the Gym World, Alien Ships and World. I think also we could include maybe like Hollow Earth. And like I said, there are a lot more than that. I've been swimming in raw sewage. It's absolutely absurd. 